how do you feel like you know everybody get a politically correct answer like you know it was just it's just I was just happy I was to be pissed off. Yeah, but you didn't you win. Go. What I'm happened? Pissed off. You don't wear your suit. I will not lie. Yeah, I because you always hope against hope that there's that smidgen that maybe. Maybe because I just thought about the story that that would make for me 20%, personally. Twenty percent chance of winning. You know, Twenty percent chance of winning. Yeah. But the fact yeah. that Al Green had his own story. Right. He, you know, this is a a great full circle way for him to come. That wasn't his first one to win, was it? Um, I want to say yes. I could be wrong, but I know there's. A, you know, I think he won one for a gospel. Yeah, 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 for a gospel, I think. But so, no? but the fact that he <laughs> he came well, up with something. Album. Holy shit! Hot <laughs> <laughs> grits on me. So. <laughs> Ouch, Jesus. <laughs> Jesus said, put this out. What? Leave the Reverend alone. Leave the Ooh, Reverend alone. Oh, that oil is hot. You're right, you're right. Leave the Reverend no, alone. Hey, right. sometimes the bless oil. Is- <laughs> yeah, you, hey, you could say Jesus that, yeah. is my hominy. <laughs> and the congregation says, yum. <laughs> 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 oh, man. Oh. Was it grits or rice? It was, it was grits. grits. It was, it was hot grits. grits. He was in the tub. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> he was in the tub, and she was cooking grits and threw it on while he in the tub. Damn. Wow. See? I want to cool. know who told the story. Did he come out and say, this bitch threw grits on me, or did she <laughs> go out bragging? So. I, well, I think you Quaker bragging. Oats told the story. <laughs> <laughs> And Creamer Reed wrote it all day. <laughs> I, I said it to a bouncy jingle. <laughs> I think when you're a female and you're mad, like you, that's something you tell your girl. Yeah, bitch, I threw grits on that motherfucker. Have you ever done anything like that? Oh. Pours. Hey, hey, I think you should go to jail. No. Pause, you ever threw a lit joint on somebody? <laughs> <laughs> Did a nigga with your ashes? I don't waste food, but I will hit someone with a two or three, four piece. Yeah, you will fight a dude. You've hit a dude before? Yeah. Yeah. So it's okay to hit, is it okay that's, for him to hit you back? That's not ladylike, Claudia. What's wrong with you? Is it okay for him to hit you back? Was it okay. Chris Brown? <laughs> Bobby whip, Brown, I whip his ass. No, James, James Brown. Brown. So, so let me let me talk to uh, Gary Gary Owen, please. Tell us about your role that you play on House of Pain. Why New Barber why in the we Barber talking Shop. to him? We got Wayne Brady. Because wow. fuck you, Lou. Yeah, wow. 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 Gary too. Get get racism. Out. He's here too. Man. I'm just joking. Dang, can I say guy? Yeah, Y'all yeah. gonna turn on me? I mean, you know what? You know what? White man, go ahead and talk. Louis Dix is right. You're right. You're right. We should keep talking to the brother and make the white man wait. You, you're 100 percent right. Right. Because <laughs> oh we got some calls for. Wait a minute. Wait, he's right. Eight seven seven two. One zero six one zero six is the number. Not reverse half, racism. Half of me is appalled right now. <laughs> <laughs> Another half like go, on, nigga. Yeah, well, your stepdaddy side is cool with it, so don't worry about it. Eight seven seven two one zero six one zero six. So we come back to Gary after the break. Yeah, we come back. Calls. We got we got a few phone calls. Or maybe that's how I should have said it. Right. God damn. Shit. We got we got Greg from Texas. What's up, Greg? We got a dude. Hey, what's, up, man? what's happening with it? <laughs> uh, yeah, I just wanted to give Wayne Brady a shout out. You know, I saw the show in uh, Vegas, and this man is very talented. I'm telling you. Man. Thanks, Greg. I appreciate that, man. Thank you. Hey, dude, love. I like that. Mm-hmm. Romance. Yeah. Hey, Romance. Have you ever seen oh, Speedy Show, that's Greg? Ain't that a bitch? Speedy Show. Yeah, Speedy. Ever <laughs> been to a Speedy Caldwell show? <laughs> <laughs> no, I ain't seen that one before. It's great. <laughs> what, what's great. funny, Greg, is Speedy ain't either. <laughs> Speedy, you come out to Vegas, man. We'll do something together. Don't play. Oh no, it won't be on stage, but you come out. Y'all don't get the movie. We're going to hang out. Yeah. 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 We'll take you to MGM. Uh, no, let me catch you. No, 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 I will split nachos with you because <laughs> I'm your man. But listen, hey, no disrespect. Speedy will rip any stage. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, there's a weight limit. <laughs> yeah, I, was to, oh, I was about to say that. We got another phone call for you, Wayne. Eight seven seven. He said it won't be on stage. I have my bag back like nachos. <laughs> I was about to say, fuck Marto. <laughs> <laughs> I will give you jalapenos. <laughs> Yo, we got a call from your hometown, from Orlando. We Orlando. got Mickey jo- Mouse, Joanna. <laughs> we got Joanna from Orlando. What's up, Joanna? Joanna man. Hey, that's Joanna. Yep, like Joanna man. You got I it. I said Joanna. Yeah. Oh, don't, right there. don't yeah, try to correct me. Oh, Go ahead, baby girl. Go ahead. Mm. Well, anyway, What's I was calling to phone? say, huh? Go ahead. Baby. Go ahead, love. Okay. <laughs> I was going, calling to say, um, what's up, to Wayne? Um, hey, we Joanna. Went to school together. Hey. Uh-oh. We went to school oh, together. Oh, hold on. Uh-oh. That went to school Give together. Give us some dirt now. Give us some dirt. Give us some dirt. Oh, well, Wayne always had a real high booty and a uh <laughs> <laughs> No, he was, he, was, he was all right. And my thing is, everybody's He's always talking him about being a cornball and selling out. But Wayne has always been the way that he is right now. Um, we were in Mr. Felder's uh, drama, drama class. I was at one you hated. 
The cute yeah, one. Yeah, Miss Felder, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I have no idea who you are, Juana. No, I know Miss Felder. I know Juana. I know exactly who this is. Yeah, this is what she look like, Wayne. Did you know What she look like? Yeah, so anyway, I was just calling to 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 give you a shout out and let you know that Tangelo thinks that you're doing good. And uh Tangelo Park. You mean Tangerine? Thank you, Juana. Thank you so much. That's Sue. really nice. See, that's, no, that's what I'm saying. She, she tried to say something else, no I think, too. Oh, go ahead, Juwan. Go ahead. No? I thought no. she said Thank you for the phone call. Listen, listen, by the that's way, nice. for those of you who said this man is sold out, those are two black fans that called in. Yeah, no, no, I, we never said that. I heard you. Hey, man, I, I said that. Say that shit. Said that. Juwan and I we were did. in we drama never, We never said that to us. We never said that. Oh, okay. People that was just a meeting, motherfucker. People call me a sellout, but I don't sell much. That's when I was putting the food in the fish tank. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead, Wayne Brady. No, that was just really wild hearing from her because I remember Juana exactly, and I remember the classes she's talking about. And and the thing is, I wouldn't go as... I don't personally think, you know, because I haven't heard too many cornball and sellout and whatnot. Yeah. Folk, you know what? <laughs> Folks are going to talk and say what you want. Yeah, Absolutely. The bottom line is right. you can't please everybody. And I hit a stage a couple years ago when I think I had a bit of a mental breakdown. It was right after the talk show. And, and I freaked out a little bit. I thought, yeah, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to be, be, be more black because people say, First off, there is no fucking thing is more black. And I'm glad I actually say this here because it's stupid. <laughs> Instead of spending your fucking time tearing down other black people, trying to do something, do something with yourselves. Johnny, man. So I'm looking at a bunch of successful, very intelligent black people in this room. Where? Where? Laugh if you want to, but I even include you in no, this. No, no, I'm laughing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Claudia. Uh, uh, hold on, motherfucker. I love the I'm song. I'm laughing because you, in the beginning you was like saying a lot of other things. Now you're saying this, so that's why I'm laughing. So well, that's okay for well, me to well, laugh. Well, well, it's nothing that I've change i mean it's the still the still the same the same story it's the same thing that i just always done me so because <laughs> yeah i'm on, on your jacket. team i'm like not even attacking you or anything it's it's the just pipeline so, on the team. No? Okay. no no i've seen how you work with your team so i'd rather have you <laughs> you across the gridiron <laughs> no i've seen the love <laughs> yeah. so, so don't get the love you, it no, but i respect you because look where you guys in a are. Skinny kind of way. We each have gotten to where we are by doing what we do, and I have not changed. And after the talk show, I flipped out. I thought maybe if I, I did certain certain things different, if I changed things, I could be a different person. And I really had to 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 sit down and examine myself and go, what the hell am I doing? And what am I going to tell my daughter when she comes to me and says, Daddy, well, what sh what should I be and how how should I act? Right. I'm being a complete hypocrite because I've always lived by what well, I'm going to do, what I want to, and I'm trying to flip myself. Right. So, well, you know, it is what it is. Well, I don't think, you know, we really call you a sellout. Never. No, no, I don't think no black person ever really called you a sellout, you know, because there's black people watching your show. Right. Uh, let's, right. Just not front. Let me, right, which is I the watched thing. the show. Right, which is and the I thing. I watched the show. So, you so know, I've never but, but it's like, understood the flip side of that where... It, where yeah, that shit bothers where, you when you talk proper, and then they, you, you're supposed to be downgraded for talking proper. I was yeah. raised. In, yeah, you are. If I came into my house <laughs> and, right. and ever said that my mom like didn't me. want to, I would get a broomstick and an or a Pine switch. Your side. But a lot of my, boy, <laughs> my mom would smack the hell out of me. What would she so, say? What would she say? So when, how I teach you to talk? <laughs> how did I teach you? How did I speak to talk? But mama does that. Pop! And that's all I know. It's, yes, yes, ma'am. So I right, grew up with right. yes, ma'am, no, ma'am. So I never thought of it as, oh, I'm trying to be anything other than I am. So, well, well who so are the people weird. saying these things? And, you know, yeah, sure you. Oh, you know, now, come on. <laughs> Calling a spade a spade, right. pardon the pun. Y'all know that okay. from time to time. I, 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 the the at, the, at the it's end fun. of the day, whether you sound, what people consider black or ghetto or hood, there's going to be critics of that and supporters of that. Exactly. Being proper, there's, exactly. You're gonna get, so just do it. You know, you do that. So do you. Wayne, I wanted to ask you a question. That's what I said. Yes, well, sir. What were some Shit. of the steps that you took mentally? Upstairs? No, to, to actually help <laughs> get, navigate <laughs> right. yourself navigate yourself through that. You I throw mean, away all of his You best. said you went. You said, <laughs> you said no, because I understand exactly what he meant. Because I, I, same thing with a lot of the black comics, because I don't curse. They, you're a sellout. You don't curse. You're not no, funny. You got, but in my own way, I think no, I am. No. So what, is, what were some of the steps that you took? Mentally, did you I make think, changes? Did he, you said, make he, he said he stopped. He said he stopped. It, it, it was all answer. mental. It was all answered. Why yeah, that's so what I said. I was overanalyzing. We got to suspend Lou. And at the very end of the talk show, at the that's very end of the everybody. talk show, because when I did the Chappelle thing, you know, there's a line. In oh, the, that there, was brilliant in that. We were joking about, you know, that I said, uh, said, oh, they canceled my talk show and and shit happens or what? Because 
I realize, and I will stand by this, and I don't know if anybody from ABC, Disney would listen. I don't they don't listen to this. Right shit. now, you know, the fact, the fact of the matter is, the I would not change certain things that I wanted to do. Like, I wanted more black guests on the show. I wanted to do what I want. I didn't want to be in front of a desk. I wanted to dress a certain way, da-da-da. And it was like, no, you can't do that because that would be too... Oh, that would just not be you. our demo. That wouldn't be... And then I realized, oh, the demo, I, so I'm not black enough to be black, but I'm too white to be... It, it, it freaked me out. Right. It freaked me out. I knew he was the so, real...